actions we have a new action drill through action and reporting action so what is this actions basically actions means when i want to uh, click on a particular value i want to open a, a web url or when i am clicking uh, on a value and right clicking i want to drill through and i want to show the detailed information of that data mm -hmm. okay when i am clicking on a particular cell uh, i want to uh, show the ssrs report okay so new action so this new action what i want to do if i am clicking on a particular uh, product name i want to open some web page okay okay i want to give some url then uh, when you are clicking over there it will open the that url okay so under actions click on new action okay this action name i want to give go to e classes the action name mm -hmm. and uh, so you can take by default uh, attribute members this is i don't want to discuss all, all these things okay just take always uh, attribute member only okay and the target object is where you want to click so i want to click on the english product uh, uh, english product name mm -hmm. click okay so if you want to maintain any condition okay this uh, click option the uh, when you are clicking on a product name it will jump into a website whatever the website url you are going to provide over here okay i don't want to give for all the products mm -hmm. i want to give uh, this option only for the products whatever the sales amount is greater than 1000 mm -hmm. you can put the condition like this okay the action type is url what is the url you want to put i want to put the url uh, like this www.eclasses.com okay okay so this is the website i want to put the url so don't forget to put in the double quotes okay otherwise the hyperlink don't work mm -hmm. okay. there are some uh, additional properties are so there i don't want to go over there right so you need to make sure here it is interactive okay right so just deploy deployment started take the sales amount in english category yeah okay english product category name english product name just english okay right so i just want to refresh see is it deployed yes so this is my english product name mm -hmm. just right click over here additional actions See, there is an action is coming yeah. go to e class okay so we'll check whether this action is enabled for greater than thousand uh, let's say for example this one this is uh, sales amount is zero right mm -hmm. and i have mentioned the condition is only the sales amount is greater than thousand only it is right. zero right. This is the reason the action is not coming okay uh, for this one the action i want to click so, sorry yeah this one this one having the value and uh, additional actions go to e classes yeah. it will open your website uh, in your uh, internet explorer by default mm -hmm. that is the normal one action you can enable the next action i want to enable is uh, new drill through action mm -hmm. okay drill through action and uh, major group you can keep all okay and condition here also if you want to put the condition yes you can put the condition okay and uh, so what are the values you want to display let's say for example this is a three nine five nine one right mm -hmm. so when i want to see the full detailed information of this three nine five nine to that amount yeah mm -hmm. yeah so what columns what are the related columns you want to display in detail okay, okay. so that columns you need to specify over here under measures i want to display what is the order quantity what is the unit price what is the sales amount 
don't select other measures from other other uh, fact table okay you need to you need to select only related to a particular one fact only okay this is another fact if you are if you are selecting this one also it will throw the error yeah we'll show you what error it will give and the dimensions i want to select uh, uh, dim product category what is the english product category name and another dimension uh, dim product what are the product names english product names mm -hmm. uh, dim sub category from the dim sub category i want english product category both are category okay i don't want this one just remove it okay these are enough then uh, additional properties default maximum number of rows how many you want to show you can put the condition application description if you want to put anything caption for this uh, whatever the action it is going to display you can put okay anyhow just uh, those are not important those are some extra activities you just deploy Yeah, this is the error is coming because uh, errors from the SQL query module drill through columns must belong to exactly one, one measure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the mistake what we do is we have selected from our other measure as well. Now I want to publish once again. Deploy. completed just refresh it so now right click see now it is displaying the data yes okay because to execute this query uh, whatever uh, it is sending background uh, to get all these fields it the, all the fields should come from the same measure only okay dimension may be different no problem okay mm -hmm. so that is the drill through action and the next one is new reporting action new reporting action means uh, i want to go to a particular report in my ssrs i have published some of the reports in my ssrs okay when you are uh, clicking on a particular product name i want to display something uh, uh, whatever the reports i have in this over here okay. okay let's under this reports folder this is a report server url okay so what i want to do uh, go to report action and you can take attribute members what is your target object the target object is when i am clicking on the english product name okay and do you want to write down any condition only sales greater than thousand only i want to enable you can put Okay. and what is your uh, report server name we have to mention over here mm -hmm. okay report server name report. that is nothing but your SQL server only yes and report path path means we have to put your uh, uh, the report server mm -hmm. and in which folder i want to i have my reports in the reports folder mm -hmm. and inside the reports folder what is your report name which report you want to show that path you have to mention okay but here after the survey you need to put a question mark okay and report format it is going to display in the html okay. format okay okay if you want to pass any parameters you can pass a parameters for that one for that report okay and additional these are something uh, like again now what is the caption description all those things i want to publish this one so we can invoke a batch application based upon uh, i believe that's what it is showing right so if we select the invocation as uh, batch then we can invoke a batch application whenever we we click on that uh, particular category name or uh, product name right so that's the reason why they have put uh, different options there 
batch i'm not sure what is happening here i have to check what I maybe we will we'll have to give any executable path or something to it mm. no okay. no if you are giving a batch okay um, on open and batch okay we'll see i'm not sure so i have to check that one okay. okay right we'll just refresh it and uh, so this product right click additional actions two actions one is go to classes, e classes, and classes and and go to report yep. you just click on the go to report Local it will try to work in the ssrs report okay, okay. Yeah. the real time scenarios you can use for this uh, drill uh, uh, the first go to report action is uh, let's say you have a uh, different postal codes over here mm -hmm. okay if you are uh, uh, selecting a particular postal code i want to open the google map yes automatically it will go to the google map and it will take this uh, uh, we need to pass value. it as a parameter like maybe uh, no uh, not like a parameter under go to uh, e classes here you can you can put uh, uh, when you are going to open the google map the url you have to put over here okay and basically you need to pass every time the value what value the postal code the postal code value how you get whatever the value uh, they are selecting the corresponding value you need to take from over current here. members postal code yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. current member uh, postal code you need to take it okay current number like that okay you need to write this. okay okay then it will work okay so this is about the 